श्री साधु 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 सो डियर दामा फ्रेंड्स so when we practice this uh, meditation so remember it is not uh, separate from your conventional life it going to make your conventional life more clear because that conventional clarity leads you to have the eternal clarity so in this conventional life that there are certain things that live with us kind of like a very friendly way but at the same time it become a deeper hindrance for us to when it go to spiritual development so one of the thing is the will or the freedom so when it come to freedom we all like to be free everybody in this world looking for freedom and even the not only the human beings the entire this the existence of the living beings itself looking for freedom in a certain ways but when it come to human life what we understand as freedom because in the vipassana level when it come to vipassana knowledge and when it come to experience of the deeper inside meditation and the freedom that you experience is completely become different than this conventional freedom so but when you have this conventional freedom if you don't have the clear understanding regarding it itself that freedom lead you to the sansara so let's uh, see and uh, how this happening so mostly when it come to freedom that we think one thing is we we try to go away from something like as example fear anxiety depression and the authority and the the even kind of like, kind of like the the poverty so many kind of social mental state we we try to go from something to something so if you always try to go from something to something it not going to become the freedom if you look one try to go from one place to another place it always not going to become freedom it is just conventionally you change the environment so as example from fear you try to go to comfort in that moment you think you be, you have the freedom but when you go to comfort you already depending from the comfort and then you are not free so from anxiety from depression if you go to the the happiness or the contentment in that contentment if you going to become a prisoner so then if your freedom always depending from something remember that is not the freedom and other thing is the the choice sometimes the very conventional freedom the very nature of the conventional freedom giving you a choice and giving you a free will this is kind of like a trap this is what the 
the the hold us to sansara because name of the freedom when you have the choice and when you have the free will you become comfortable with it you don't question anymore you don't look further you don't look into and you don't question it and you don't want to analyze it so you become comfortable with that when you have the choice and when you have the the free will so when you look at the conventional life from this the human history name of the freedom what all the 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 king so the queens or the countries or the constitutions or the the authorities or anybody try to give you freedom of choice and freedom of the free will but when you look deeply when you have a freedom of choice and when you have freedom of free will you are itself not free because the choice always come out of the conflict when you have a lot of things you go for one that's that, that is what choice so when you have a lot of things so what is that mean you are in conflict you are in confusion so in that confusion you become comfortable with something so that is what choice in your confusion you find the comfort with something and then you become happy so then that happiness or the that comfort not allow you to question it so what is happening it allow you to settle down there and the free will the same when you, when somebody giving you the free will and you then you go with the choice so from where the free will come because the free will always empower the desire so the free will means whatever the desire you have and you can go for it so then your free will means you empower your desire so that's mean you depending from the desire so if you depending from the desire then again that desire can bring you the greed hatred and the delusion so that is itself the sansara so then you have to deeply question what is the real freedom that we look for what is the what is the real freedom that we can experience so in this meditation that is where i take you because in the vipassana level there is the there is you find the real freedom how because when you have a choice it the choice come out of the, out of the confusion and that confusion itself depending from the 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 memory so another thing is the choice always happen when you don't see things very clearly if you listen this very carefully if you see something very clearly as it is like as we always we talk in in the vipassana level when you see something very clearly in that very moment you have no choice there is no moment in your mind to select something because you see 
exactly things as it is. So then reverse that and come back and look again. So then the choice come when you don't see something as it is. So then you have to question why you don't see. Because you don't see, you believe the choice as a freedom. Then you don't want to question it. You don't go beyond it. So that's why in the Vipassana, when it comes to that, it's saying, release all the patterns, get out of all the methods completely. Just be completely free and see. Because in that very moment, if you able to see something very clearly, in that very moment, that what you see release you from the choice. And then you come out of the confusion. That is what the real freedom. So then, because when you see something very clearly, there is no question. But in day-to-day -day life, are we experiencing that it like that? And when it comes to seeing, also you have to remember. So as example, that you have this pain and the seeing is unconventionally, sometimes you think from you, from here, from inside to outside, you, you project, you look. But looking that way, you cannot get into the clarity. But that is what we do. Hearing to outside, looking to outside, smelling to outside, and tasting to go towards the outside. The, the physical comfort looking from outside and mentally also thinking far away from the past or the future. But in, when it comes to vipassana level, so you don't look into outside, but you look into inside and see your inner experience. When you able to recognize that when it, because when it in front of you, there is nothing to see here. It already happened. Why you have to see this? Because it already is there. So even the sound, see, there is nothing to hear. It's already there. But in deeper, how you deal with, you, with your mind? Are you aware about that? When you aware about that, that is what really in the Vipassana level, you experience as seeing, as hearing, as smelling, as tasting. So then look into that. And when it comes to freedom means, how the conflict or the confusion happen when you look for something. Even you may have idea, I want to be free from this or that or like that. You have many ideas, you're looking for freedom. And as example, you know, in the American history, it say what, you know, in the history, why people came to America looking for freedom. See, they, they're looking for freedom. And even in the constitution, you know, most of the countries giving the freedom. But it's still, in, in within these 5,000 years in the world history, in the human history, there are recorded more than 50,000 wars happened. 50, 15, one, one five. 15,000 wars happened in between humans. That most of the, the, the wars came out of the, the choice. That means believing. That means what they see, what they like. So if you see, if your choice is true, 
what you select or when you have a selection what you get if it is true right how it can take you to a war so even the religion even the culture even the tradition if you see it very clearly how it is possible it can become a difficulty for somebody else but this is what keep happening keep happening the reason is we look outside we never go into inside and see what is happening within ourselves why because we don't want to question us we don't want to question us we always try to facilitate us and sometimes we see and what we believe what we see it doesn't make any sense or it doesn't uh, bring any kind of wisdom but still we don't want to question even it happened to us and then even your family members you don't want to question them so sometimes whatever they do wrong things you facilitate them and even when it come to your village and sometimes they if somebody did something wrong in your village and then you don't want to question it you always try to somehow make it kind of like a right and then when it come to your state and then you don't want to question it and how about when it come to your own your country you don't want to question so country mean what country mean we we are so then yourself you have to question is this is this the freedom is this your freedom if your freedom take you to the conflict or the confusion or difficulties or the war or unhappiness or the unrest or the fear unhappiness unsatisfaction to you or somebody do you think it is the the right freedom so that's why the buddha's teaching it universal and especially the buddha mentioned not even the samadhi the vipassana knowledge is nothing to do with the the any any kind of uh, ethnic groups it not nothing to be not not belong to any kind of religious belief it is a for entire humanity and the all living beings why because when you have the real freedom that is where you and all other living beings going to be comfortable so but in this conventional life the the freedom that we have the freedom we believe as choice or as from this point to that point we to looking for something or free will the desire the free will means the what we have the desire i have i have opportunity to go for go for it so this all conventionally leads us to again and again again and again unrest disease unhappiness fear and that is what called sansar and the thing is when we are we brainwash and we kind of like uh, you know mesmerize from that freedom we don't question it that is the misery because you are in the prison and you don't know you are in the prison you think you are free and then you stay there and and then for your children for your next generations and for other people you give it you give it as a gift you give the you pray the free will you give the choice to others and but you don't see it. you give the prison half of your prison to them half of prison to them so then when it come to then how you can get the real freedom how you can find it 
So in the very first thing that you have to do, start to see clearly. So when you start to see clearly, it is as I mentioned, it is not look outside. The real seeing means look inside. Feeling, the form, feeling, sensation, formations and consciousness. So the five aggregates and recognizing this. And when something come to you, it is feeling. So that is the form that can, it can come as a sound. It can come as a picture or the colors and, and the, it can come as aroma or the, the smell that the form. It can come as the taste, that's the form. It can come as the sensation, that's the form. It can come as the thought, that's the form. Recognize it. It is possible. It is very possible as a human being, you can do this. That's why the Buddha thought this. Otherwise, why the Buddha need to come, here, come to this world and after, you know, the, the many, many, many eons, you know, deeply he sacrificed himself and practicing himself and looking, searching, investigating himself and sacrificing all his life. And finally, he attained to the Buddhahood after, you know, the very, very difficult, great suffering. And then, why he taught this? Because it is very possible for you. In this, in this very moment, it is very possible. But the thing is, the freedom that what we believe, we don't question, we don't look further. So if you don't look further, you don't see. So the meditation is the art. In the tranquility meditation, first you make your mind usable to see and then in the vipassana level you see completely clearly what you see not the outside what is happening within yourself when you experience something what is happening to you so when you see that way mostly what is happening our own feelings our own memory our own defilement, it's become the hindrance. So again and again, again and again, when you see, then you're going to, you're going to slowly break it down. Because the mind has no form, mind just go with whatever available. So then if you able to practice little by little, little by little, then you're going to, you're going to recognize that. Remember, when you are able to see things very clearly, you get out of the choice. You come to the real experience. That is where you really get into the, the as a human being, using this human mind, that is the moment you really going to experience something. If you go with the choice, always remember, it always go to the confusion. But when you really get into the point to see something very clearly, that it always take you to the, the happiness, completion. In that completion, that you, you become more comfortable, more comfortable, more comfortable. In that comfort, you deeply resonate within yourself and recognizing how things come to be as they are because there's nothing, nothing to look. See, in life, when you really see something, when you really know something, you don't look anything anymore. You have no choice because you know what it is. And then what, everything disappears. Maybe there are a lot of things available, but everything disappears. But the thing is, in conventional life, when somebody give a choice, oh, select whatever you become so happy. 
Why? Because it mesmerizes our mind. And then we become more comfortable when we don't look anymore. And then we caught up from there. And then what is happening? We pass the time. Once we pass the time, then we lose. Because everything, it's a, it's a game with the time. The Mara means nothing else but the time. Tick, tick, tick. You always see that is the real Mara. It's uh, the clock. You know, everywhere it's saying what? You're going to go. You're going to die. You're going to go. Anytime it can happen. So we, do, we look the clock, but we don't care. And we see the calendar. We see the time. We don't care. Why? Because we have the choice. We become happy with it. We have the free will. We have we can get our, get all the desires out of whatever we can do, and then we go with it. that itself. The 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 real real samsara. So, because when it comes to reality, you cannot you cannot have the choice. As example, just imagine. Can you tell your husband or wife? You are my choice. If you say so, that means you have some other options. So then, then there is no love. But when it comes to the real love, you have no choice. You don't go for a choice. So for your children, you know, you never say, I, I choose you. You accept it. From where that acceptance comes. You don't question. It doesn't matter how hey, the child becomes handicapped or not. It doesn't matter the child becomes ignorant, so we you know the wise child, it doesn't matter. It, if the child do very you know difficult things, hard things to accept as parents, but still you accept it. You you don't go to choice. Why? Because you have the love. So from where that love come? That, that love come not because of the desire. That love come because of the, the real connection or the compassion. But if the love come out of the desire, you're going to have a very difficult time. Maybe you're going to get marry a person because of the desire. And later, within a few years, you are in hell. If you go through the choice, you have many, many choices. And then out of that, you go to your husband or wife because of the choice, your life is going to have difficulty, conflict, confusion. So that's the example. You can look yourself. But when it comes out of the real love, you don't see anything anymore. And then you go for it. And from there, it doesn't matter whatever happened. It, that doesn't mean you're not going to have a hard time. But even if there, there is a hard time come, you're not going to question it. You're not going to go away from that. You don't look to jump away from it. It's, it's, it that's how. Look at the how these homeless people, they sleep on the street. And sometimes husband, wife, family, whole family. They, they are. Sometimes I look. How it is possible? Maybe one person become homeless, it is okay. But why that the, the whole family stay together? In far away in villages sometimes. In poor families. You know, they, they, when they have the real love, They don't look for something. They don't question anything. But name of the freedom, sometimes ourselves, we, we think the questioning everything is a part of the freedom. No. When it comes to real freedom, remember there is nothing to question. The real freedom takes you to the point to get out of the choice. Get out of the free will. You just be. There is nothing to achieve. There is nothing to gain. 
in that freedom. So then remember, why we cannot get that? Because we don't see things very clearly. When you don't see things, you always have to have a choice. So in the Vipassana, it takes you to see things very clearly. Clear awareness, Sati Sampajan, clear comprehension. In that very moment, in the Vipassana, you just experience. And that is the highest of the, the human existence that you can experience. And in that very moment, the completion arises. In that completion, contentment and the happiness and satisfaction, you, it's everything there. You don't look for anything. That's where you gain the liberation. Because why? Because you complete. So then remember little by little, little by little when you practice. It is possible. You can gain it. In this very life, you have the best opportunity. Why? Because from our human civilizations, that your genes and your all the immunity, that everything inbuilt and upgraded to that level to experience that. You know, it's kind of like uh, these computers look, you know, in the 10 years back to, you know, the record something, even to play something. You know, it's very difficult. It takes so much time. You know, the, it's the memory is so slow, you know, connected to internet. You have to take time. It waiting, waiting, waiting and counting one, two, three, four, two hundred, you know, waiting. But look today, just put the bus button, you get connection. It's the advance of the, the technique. The same thing in your mind, you also advance to that level with your entire nerve system, with your brain and everything. You are not kind of like the hundred years back, the, the person. It's you are more developed. So more than any other time, you are capable to access to this. Only thing is we just comfortable with the, the conventional level of freedom. So get out of it. Question yourself that. And look deeply and experience something without choice. So that is what you gain out of this practice. Little by little, by little, little by little. So in Japan, before they have the this uh, sin meditation, before the Buddhism go there, and they had the tradition to stay silence, and uh, that uh, it called tendai or tendai or tandai meditation, and they stay silent. So there were four friends, and that one day they thought, okay, let's practice silence and no one talk and then in the evening they start in a little place and they start to practice meditation so now four of them silence and then one saw the lamp and it was little but night and the lamp the oil and little by little burn and the 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 land became empty and there was the, the other friend was close to the lamp. And then now he was think, seeing this lamp going to, to die, it's go away. And then he told to his friend, can you put some oil? And then the, that the, the friend next to the lamp, and he told, why you talk? And then the third person told, you both forget and we decide not to talk. The fourth one told, see, only I didn't talk. So that is the human nature because knowingly, unknowingly, unconsciously, we just go with others. We just go with the memory. We just go with the pattern. But when it comes to Vipassana, to get out of that role, you just become completely empty and just see. So spend some time in day to day life. Just see a little bit. When you see, remember it is not outside. Look at inside you. So with that, I bless upon everyone.
with this good practice may all of you be well happy and peaceful may no harm come to you may no difficulties come to you may no problems come to you may you also have the patience courage understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life during this time period may everyone stay healthy and safe and finally may all of you attain supreme bliss of nibbana sabbityo vajjantu sabbaro go vinasatu mate bhavantarayo sukhi digayuko bhava ettavata chami sampadam punya sampadam sabbe deva anumodam tu sabba sampatti siddhya sabbe bhuta anumodam tu sabba sampatti siddhya sabbe satta anumodam tu sabb sampatti siddhya idam me punya kammam asavatya vannotu sabb dukkha pam chatu nasi